Hey guys, Chad here from Take It or Leave It Reviews, here to talk about Godzilla Resurgence. Let's get into it. So Godzilla Resurgence, or Shin Godzilla, I think there's like four or five other titles out there. I'm calling it Godzilla Resurgence because that's what my ticket stub said, so we'll use that name going forward. But this movie is a soft reboot of the 1954 uh, Japanese film Gojira, except now it takes place in modern day. Now before I go any further, I should preface that this is my first Japanese produced Godzilla film that I've ever seen. You know, I've seen the American films. I've seen the 1998 Matthew Broderick stink ball of a film that's only fun if you're drunk. And then the 2014 Gareth Edwards uh, remake, which was okay. The fight at the end was fun. The rest just, you know, bored me to death. But that being said, I was really excited. You know, that's progress, right? That's progress. So maybe this is the one that's going to blow my mind. I was really hoping that Toho Productions, the production company that makes these Godzilla films over the past several decades, I thought maybe, maybe this is going to be the one for me that just knocks it out of the park and I fall in love with Godzilla all over again. So with that being said, let's get into the things I liked and disliked about the movie, starting with what I liked. First of all, Godzilla looks awesome. I just haven't seen Godzilla look like this in a really long time. He's, he's got kind of a new look. He looks kind of edgier and he's got this like fire, like a red kind of glow that is like this internal glow inside of him that just looks kind of ominous and sinister. It pays homage to the 1954 film while at the same time updating the look for, you know, modern audience audiences and I really appreciated that. I think it, it was a necessary touch to update it in the way that they did but at the same time I like seeing kind of that old school look and feel. I like that. Um, he's scary in this. I mean he's really scary looking. He's nasty and gritty and just mean looking. He just looks so mean and he's huge all at the same time. I will say he's not scary though in the beginning of the movie when we're first introduced to him. He looks like a penguin turkey hybrid that like slides on his stomach. It sounds ridiculous and it is. He looks absolutely bizarre. It's like his first stage and then he evolves into Godzilla as we know him. But when I first saw him on screen, I just started blurting out laughing. It was hysterical. And on top of that, Godzilla does some pretty cool stuff. He has a lot more than just that beam that comes out of his mouth. It's not just that. He has some other tricks up his sleeve, and that was pretty cool to see. He causes so much destruction in this movie. It's absolutely insane the amount of damage this guy causes. And that's something that I really liked was the special effects that they used for the destruction. It seems to be very much practical effects and miniature models, not just pure CGI and because of that it looked so real it looked very very authentic after I saw the movie I went and looked up YouTube footage of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami and I'm telling you the stuff that I saw in the Godzilla movie the, the destruction looked like a spitting image of it I mean it looked so real and so genuine it was kind of disturbing and scarier even further because of that and speaking of the 2011 tsunami and earthquake in Japan not unlike the 1954 film which served as a metaphor for nuclear weapons and the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I believe that this movie is a social commentary regarding the earthquake and the tsunami and the government's response to these natural disasters. I'm sure I miss a number of other different references and metaphors, but at the end of the day, I'm just glad that they're continuing this tradition of making it socially relevant. And lastly, the music in this is really fantastic. Whether it's traditional music from previous movies or newly introduced music, it doesn't really matter. It's all fantastic and it really added to the film. But that being said, let's get into the things I did not care about with this film because I gotta tell you, there's several of them, and they are weighty, big problems that I had with the film. I mean, first off, there are about 40 different characters in this film. I mean, I can't keep them straight, and they're not important. They're irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I swear to God, there were times I was introduced to people that I'm pretty sure I never saw again. I got their name, their title, the group that they work with, and I, I never saw them again. Who cares? Why am I doing that for 40, 50 different people? And we're just bouncing around. The other thing, too, that's really obnoxious is that you get this is movies and subtitles. I don't mind subtitles. It just doesn't bother me. But by the time you were done reading the subtitles, you just move to the next character. So you don't even have time to go read who they are, where they come from, the group they're a part of, yada yada. You don't have time to you don't have time to learn any of that stuff. And it, apparently it doesn't matter. It did not affect my experience whatsoever. And you know what? Not caring about the characters is fine as long as we're spending a ton of time with Godzilla, right? I mean, we spend at least half the time with Godzilla, right? No. No, it's not like that. You spend like a third of the time with Godzilla. The other two thirds of the time, you're just, just just putzing around with these characters you don't care about, talking about how we gotta solve the problem and do this and that stuff. I don't I don't understand what they're talking about. Thermo this and blah, blah, blah. I don't understand and frankly, I don't care. I don't care. So why am I sitting here a part of this? Can I go outside and play with Godzilla? I'd much rather do that. We didn't spend nearly as much time as we should have with Godzilla. And on top of that, this is a two hour film. Two 
hours. That means, uh, according to my calculations, you spend about an hour and 20 minutes with these people you don't give a shit about. Oh, it's so boring. I mean, seriously, I swear to God, and I rarely do this. This rarely ever happens. I fell asleep twice in this movie. Twice on two separate occasions, like a half hour apart from each other. That's how bored I got, and that's how little I felt I needed to be there for a lot of the movie. To sum it all up, guys, even though there's like cool stuff happening for a third of the film with Godzilla, I mean, he's awesome. He's the main attraction. There's just nothing else happening, in my opinion, for me at least, for the other two thirds of the film. Look, I like Good Night and Good Luck. I like 13 Days. People just talking with each other is entertaining to me when it's done right and it's done well. Here, you've got way too many characters to go around. There's not enough time to spend with just individual characters. So as a result, I don't care about them. And I'm not interested in anything going on in the other two thirds of this film. So I was just bored, uninterested, and I just didn't care about what was going on so much so that I fell asleep twice. But nonetheless, I'm glad that I took a shot with this movie. You know, you always gotta at least give it a try. And I'm glad I did. I could see why other people who like the Japanese older movies would like this one. But you know, for me, unfortunately, I fell asleep twice. And guess what I do when I'm hungover? I just sleep periodically throughout the day. So this is a hangover movie for me. And I'm gonna give Godzilla Resurgence a 1.8 out of 5. But that's just what I think. Take it or leave it. What do you guys think? Have you seen this movie before? Have you even heard of it? Are you looking forward to that Godzilla vs. King Kong movie coming out in 2020? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Let's talk about it. And guys, thank you so much for watching my review. I really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel so we can do this again soon. And I'll check you later. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> hey, man. You off my case. Oh, man. I just don't want to hear that shit.